Hey guys, Trevor here for the Montana Style again, and today we're going on an adventure back into the 1800s with a trip to Virginia City and Nevada City, Montana, two of the oldest ghost towns in the state, and they're really well preserved, and I think you're going to enjoy the history, so let's go for a walk and let's see what's going on today. Virginia City was designated as the new territorial capital of Montana in 1865 when Alder Gulch had gathered most of Montana's population. At its peak, 10,000 people flooded the area named 14 Mile City for the numerous settlements that lined the gulch. Virginia City became the largest settlement with an estimated population of 5,000 people by mid-1864. Virginia City and nearby Nevada City became known as the site of the richest gold strike in the Rocky Mountains. In the first three years alone, an estimated $30 million of gold was removed from the gulch. Over the course of approximately six weeks between De December 1863 and February 1864, Montana vigilantes located and arrested and executed suspected members of the Plummer Road Agent Gang in Bannock, Virginia City, and Hellgate, Montana. The most famous victim of the Montana vigilantes was Henry Plummer, who after arriving in Montana in 1862 and was elected sheriff of Bannock Mining District in May of 1863. At the same time, a group of road agents called the Innocents were operating in the area and the vigilantes suspected Plummer of being the leader. On January 10th, 1864, Henry Plummer was hanged by a mob outside of Bannock. The thing about the Montana Vigilantes is they're best known for their motto that they would put on people's cabins or they would mark them with the th numbers 3777. Now, nobody really knows for sure exactly what 3777 stands for, but there are a couple of theories. And the one that I like, I think it's kind of cool, is three means three feet wide, seven feet long and 77 inches deep. That is the dimensions of a grave. And so they would write that on someone's tent or whatever, and that was your cue to get out of town or well, you'd end up like these gentlemen here hung. Another theory for the 3777 is that it was $3 to get on the seven o'clock stage to ride 77 minutes on the stagecoach to either Helena or Butte. Either way, it was to get out of town. And then there's other theories that go farther than that. But those are the ones that I think are kind of cool. This area is really, really rich with history. It was a giant boom town at one time. And pretty much all the historical stuff that you've seen is what's left. And it gives us a view back into our history, which I really, really love. And I hope everybody enjoyed checking this out. And uh, just remember, you don't want to see 3777 when you're going through Montana because that's the number that's on the highway patrolman's doors and on their badges. And it basically says, you know, if you're breaking the law, stay out of Montana. 